Charles, it's, it's, it's a fascinating broad topic. Um, and, you know, I'm looking into brain science, complexity theory, and all of these, these elements, and they, they just on its own huge and uh, really, really interesting. So why did I really gravitate towards product ownership? And for me, the, the thing which is really important is, and in my trainings, I always draw the product owner with a crown on, on his or her head. For the simple reason, my thinking is not that the product owner is the most important person, it's but the activity behind the product owner. Product ownership is really important because let's say you have the world's best scrum master, world's best developers, everything is perfect, but you have the wrong product owner, you probably still build the wrong product faster in a higher quality. And this is really where this value thinking for me comes into the picture. And the first sentence in the scrum guide says something along those lines like scrum is there to solve complex problem to maximize the value. And that's exactly what product ownership is all about. Now, then, if you dig a little bit deeper, like what is value actually? What does this mean? You can really uh, think about this for a long time, but also how can you bring in the measurability about what you do that you really kind of achieve the value you were aiming for? This on its own, again, is a really broad topic, which uh, I really find, find interesting. And that's why I'm, uh, this is still one, one of my main, main areas I'm, I'm doing research in.